सदाशिवसमारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धि थर्ड चैप्टर पेज 97 इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ नाइन्थ वर्स अत्र अचिदाहु यिदिह वाक्यम लौकिक वैदिक वत्सर्व संसर्गात्मक वाक्या गमयती अतः तत्वस्यादिवाक्य संसर्गात्मक ब्रह्मा तावत् निधिध्यासीत यावत् वाक्यार्थ वाक्यात्मक प्रत्यगात्म विषय अवबोध अहम ब्रह्मीति समिजाते तस्मादेव विज्ञा कैवल्यात्मक प्राप्नोती तराकरणा इदम उच्यते हियर सुरेश्वराचार्य इंट्रड्यूसिंग एन एकदेशी पूर्वपक्षी एकदेशी पूर्वपक्षी इज वन हु ईज एन अद्वैत इन ओनली वेदा अद्वैत वेदांत इन ओनली इवन हि ईज एन अद्वैत वेदांत बट हि डिफर्स इन सर्टन व्यूज हियर द पूर्वपक्षी इज नोन एज वाचस्पति मिश्रा otherwise known as bhamati kara because he wrote a commentary upon brahma sutra bhashyam of shankaracharya so vachaspati mishra wrote a commentary on the commentary of adi shankaracharya's brahma sutra he kept the name bhamati for that commentary for his commentary book his wife's name he dedicated her life for him to write that book therefore he kept that book therefore he is known as bhamati kara this bhamati kara vachaspati mishra says mahavakyam cannot give direct knowledge or aparoksha gnanam even if it gives aparoksha gnanam also that comes under only paroksha gnanam nididhyasanam or otherwise known as meditation alone can give aparoksha gnanam so what we say aham brahma asmi gnanam is aparoksha gnanam he calls it as paroksha gnana indirect knowledge he says according to him direct knowledge comes only after nididhyasanam that is the topic here mahavakya cannot generate aparoksha gnanam महावाक्य श्रवण अनंतर निधिध्यासन एलोन कैन जनरेट अपरोक्ष ज्ञान लुक इन टू द पैराग्राफ विच ई इंट्रड्यूस इन द लास्ट क्लास अत्र अत्र मीनस विथ रिगार्ड टू दिस महावाक्य एलोन कैन गिव मोक्ष आत्मज्ञान लिबरेटिंग नॉलेज वेन सुरेश्वराचार्य से that is not correct kincha kechi dahu ho kechi it means vachaspati mishra the pur ekadeshi purva pakshi 
what he says with an inverted commas yet kinchit whatever knowledge yet kinchit whatever knowledge to derive through shravanam yet kinchit iha vakyam that maha vakyam either laukikam or vaidikam sacred or secular laukika means worldly statements whatever or apaurusheya vaidika vakyam paurusheya laukika vakyam va tat sarvam all of them generate what generate samsargatmakameva vakyartham gamayati vakyartham samsargatmakam samsarga means dvaitam relation it gives only uh, relation means uh, with attributes relatively uh, relational meaning a relational meaning is called samsargatmakam associated with attributes ityartha relational meaning alone it can give revealing only dvaitam subject object instrument like that they are giving with attributes that is called samsargatmakam eva that eva kara says emphasis nirvishesha gnanam nirguna brahma gnanam mahavakyam can never give because there are many words in the mahavakyam tad tvam asi there are many words so many words can give about many objects many objects means every object has got attributes therefore vakyartham gamayati means gnyapayati gamudhat gnanarthakatvat gamudhatoh gnyapayati means it gives generate such a knowledge gamayati therefore ataha therefore tas tatvamasi tatvamasi mahavakya avabodha vakyaadi vakyaadi vakyebhya by these statements like tatvamasi etc samsargatmakam aham brahma vijnaya according to him aham brahma asmi is also samsargatmakam with attributes savisesham ar saguna brahma gnanam only it can give nirvishesham nirguna brahma gnanam it cannot give vignaya having known that i am brahman what type of knowledge this one vignaya means that knowledge is only paroksha gnanam not aparoksha gnanam because it is giving only savisesha gnanam dvaita gnanam not advaita gnanam then what we have to do tavat tavat means initially you have to do after shravanam nididhyasita ni plus dhyai dhatu nididhyasita one should meditate desiderative form nididhyasita yavat until until yavat avakyartham avakyarthatmaka avakyarthatmaka means samsarga rahita without any attributes samsarga rahita because vakyartham gives samsarga gnanam dvait gnanam samsargatmaka gnanam with attributes therefore avakyarthatmaka means attributeless attribute samsarga rahita we have to say samsarga rahita avakyartha you have to do meditation tavat nirvishesha gnanam non sentential avakyartha means in english non sentential knowledge vakyartha means sentential knowledge 
the knowledge which is generated by mahavakya now according to him mahavakya cannot generate ham brahmasmi gnanam even after ham brahmasmi gnanam also it is only paroksha gnanam he has to do meditation until he recognizes until he recognizes what brahman as inner self you have to take place dealing with pratyagatma sankhya yoga also talk about that nirvikalpaka avastha and gnana ritambhara तत्र प्रज्ञा दे तत्र प्रज्ञा योगशास्त्र एंड सांख्य टॉक अबाउट द्वैत ज्ञान ओनली द्वैत आत्मा ओनली नॉट अद्वैत आत्मा द्वैत आत्मा दट इट ईज वी आस्क हाउ डू यू नो वेन यू सिट इन मेडिटेशन यू गेट द्वैत आत्म ज्ञान और अद्वैत आत्म ज्ञान दे से इट ईज इनएक्सप्लिकबल you cannot uh, uh, talk about it it is inexplicable uh, we it itself proves you know uh, it is uh, self proving they say self proving they say that is samabhi jayate samabhi jayate means that dhyana uh, dwara liberating knowledge will take place pratyagatma विषय द इनर सेल्फ रिगार्डिंग द इनर सेल्फ अहम ब्रह्मास्मी प्रत्यगात्म विषय अवबोध अवबोध नॉलेज अहम ब्रह्म ई एम ब्रह्म सो अकॉर्डिंग टू हिम श्रवण कैनाट गिव अहम ब्रह्मास्मी ज्ञान सो लाइक केनोपनिषत् स्टूडेंट आलो शुड सिट इन मेडिटेशन उत्तमाधिकारी अबो एवरेज स्टूडेंट आलो मस्ट सिट इन meditation samabhi jayate that time only it can generate aparoksha gnanam tasmad eva therefore vijnanat by that nididhyasanam according to them nididhyasanam means what like in saundarya lahari shankaracharya writes that sahasrara सहस्रार दि जीवात्मा मेर्जस् वि परमात्मा हि रईट्स इन श्लोक मही मूलाधारे कमपी मणिपुरे उतवह स्थित स्वाधिष्ठा हृदय मरत आकाश आकाशमुपरी that means in sahasrara that when you sit in meditation the kundalini rises from um, mula dhara chakra it rises rises and through sushumna nadi it goes up to the sahasrara and the amruta dhara flows and the jeevatma hit the paramatma who is sitting in the hridayam mandar so that uh, is their opinion so um, that is called uh, kundalini rising kundalini rising dwara one can merge with paramatma when the sahasrara chakra is opened uh, all um, chakras have to open one by one one by one one by one then how uh, can you open through meditation through meditation so some acharyas talk about nididhyasanam samadhi avastha to get uh, aparoksha gnana but sureshwara acharya strongly negate that what he negates na, the kundalini rising is not required for aham brahmasmi gnanam kundalini is not uh, required kundalini rising is not required And then what is required na? do second time shravanam properly <laughs> that is uh, the idea uh, for that nirakaranaya to negate that uh, bhamati vachaspati mishra's view tan nirakaranaya so vachaspati mishra said 
up to prop no the inverted commas close. Vignana the Kaivalyam Apunoti. Liberation he attains. Liberation he attains after Nididhyasana. After Nididhyasana. To negate that, Tan Nirakaranaya. Tan Nirakaranaya means Nididhyasana alone gives moksha, liberation, not Shravanam, Mahavakya Shravanam. Mahavakya Shravanam gives Dvaita Gnanam, Nididhyasanam gives Advaita Gnanam, Nirvisesha Brahma, Nirguna Brahma Gnanam. That idea of Vajasamat Mishra, that Nirakaranaya, for the negation of that, Uchati Idam, ninth sloka, the following verses as an answer to that Vajaspati Mishra's opinion. How I will read that sloka. Up to here, we saw in the last class. Samanadhi karanyadhi ghati tarakhayo rivam vyavritti syadavakyarthah sakshanastvatvamarthayo In first line, there is small correction. Itara khayo is there, ita is there, ra is missing. You have to add one rakar. Ghateta ra. It should be there. Ghateta khayo is there. Ra, ra you write. So in this shloka, Sureshwara Chara is answering, giving an example. How? Mahavakya, all vakyams, already we saw Samana, Adhikaranyam, Vishesha, Visheshana, Sambandha, Samana, Adhikaranyam, Sambandha, and Laksha Lakshana Sambandha in third sloka of this same chapter, he is reminding here. Samana, Adhikaranyam, Adhi, Adhipadat, Vishesha, Visheshana, Laksha Lakshana, Adhipadat. Samana Adhikaranyam, relations, there are three types of relations. This is a unique um, equation. What you said, O Bhamatikara, it is true only. All Vakyams cannot give Atma Jnanam, Aparoksha Jnanam. This Vakyam gives Mahavakyam, Tattvamasi Mahavakyam can give moksha or liberating knowledge. Why? Na? This is Aikya Bodhaka Vakyam. All other Vakyams may be um, different attributes. So he gives uh, two arguments. Purapaksha has given two arguments. First argument is uh, there are many words revealing Dvaitam. That is uh, not Advaitam. Many words reveal Dvaitam, one argument. What second argument gave Purupakshi? Even one word, one, one subject with many attributes they reveal. Like Prapanna Parijata, Yatotra Vetra One Krishna revealing with many attributes. That is uh, revealing Dvaitam, even one uh, subject and many attributes are there. That is the Purapakshi's objection. Here, Aikya Bodhaka Vakyani are special. This Tattvamasi is an Aikya Bodhaka Vakyam. Tattvamasi is not like any other Vakyams, but it is a Aikya Bodhaka Vakyam. What is the speciality of Aikya Bodhakam? Here in Shastra, we see three types of examples. Three types Aikya Bodhaka Vakya means um, two objects in the beginning they introduce Tatu Tvam, that Paramatma, this Jivatma, two objects are there in the beginning. But we convert both of them into one. They are reduced into one single object in uh, Aikya Bodhaka Vakyams. Um, Soyam Devadattaha, one example, 
ghatakasha mahakasha here sureshwara acharya taking ghatakasha mahakasha example this sentence reveal uh, one object only so two objects are introduced and uh, reveal uh, removing their attributes and essentially they are one is established it is known as um, uh, each one attributes are cancelled by the other like sundopasundanyaya cancellation of uh, attributes of each other that is uh, called sundopasundanyaya there are two persons sunda and upasunda the sunda and upasunda are in purana the story comes both of them want to marry a same girl the same girl they want to marry but um, who will marry first uh, therefore they say just let us fight each other you know who will win that uh, fighting then they will marry that girl so like that a girl comes that vishnu only comes as a girl and each both of them fighting each other and both of them died and that girl bhagwan uh, went away like that sundo upasundanyaya they say bhagwan um, takes such a type of job sometimes like a beautiful girl he comes so the similarly soyam devadattah but sunda uh, destroys upasunda upasunda destroyed sunda so both can cancel each other <laughs> like that here also attributes of uh, jivatma attributes of paramatma both are cancelled rem- removed that is the prakriya here taken place our good old example is soyam devadatta <coughs> saha devadatta ayam devadatta that devadatta is this devadatta you know this example very very popular very very familiar how that uh, devadatta when he was young studying in the school he has uh, a different uh, features and he was uh, very fat hair curling hair fair like that you can take and now he comes and meet his friend he is in old age so no hair body wrinkles and he became thin a person totally different saha devadatta that devadatta is this devadatta that means you have to grasp that vyakti matra gnana attributes of young age you have to cancel and attributes of this old age now past bhuta guna vartamana guna to be cancelled who will remain vyakti matra gnana you have to grasp only the vyakti not that guna or this guna that guna means past young childhood attributes you have to drop present attributes also you have to drop then who remains only vyakti vyakti remains that is called vyakti matra gnanam that vyakti matra gnanam if you get that uh, soyam devadattah then uh, you come to one you know, one devadatta only attributes are separating you know? so a uh, childhood attributes are totally different from old age attributes they have lot of difference unless you remove those attributes you cannot arrive at the individual you have to arrive at this individual is that soyam devadatta this is uh, one example aikya bodhaka vakyam another example is given in um, brahma sutra chatur sutri swami ji said one author wrote uh, purnananda 
పూర్ణానందీయం కమెంటరీ ఆన్ సంక్షేప శారీరకం చతుస్సూత్రి ప్రకృష్ట ప్రకాశ చంద్ర సేమ్ మెథడ్ ఈస్ ఫాలోడ్ దేర్ ఆల్స్ నౌ ద థర్డ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఘటాకాశ అండ్ మహాకాశ స్పేస్ అవైలబుల్ ఇన్ ద పాట్ అండ్ అవైలబుల్ ఇన్ అవుట్ సైడ్ మహాకాశ దట్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ సురేశ్వరాచార్య ఈజ్ టేకింగ్ వాట్ ఈజ్ దట్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ హీ సేస్ ఘటే ఘట ఇతర సామానాధికరణ్యాదేహే దట్ సామానాధికరణ్యం సేమ్ విభక్తి తత్వం బోత్ ఆర్ ఇన్ సేమ్ విభక్తి సో దట్ సామానాధికరణ్యం లైక్ ఇన్ విష్ణు సహస్రనామ ఐ సైడ్ వన్ విష్ణు విత్ సో మెనీ అట్రిబ్యూట్స్ థౌజండ్స్ ఆఫ్ అట్రిబ్యూట్స్ కమ్యూనికేటింగ్ ఓన్లీ వన్ విష్ణు ప్రపన్న పారిజాతాయ ఆల్సో వన్ కృష్ణ లైక్ దాట్ రిమూవ్ అట్రిబ్యూట్స్ విశేష విశేషణ కమ్ టు లక్ష్య లక్షణ దట్ ఈస్ ఘటాకాశ మీన్స్ పాట్ స్పేస్ మహాకాశ మీన్స్ టోటల్ స్పేస్ ఘటా ఇతర మీన్స్ టోట్ ఇతర మీన్స్ వాట్ అవుట్ సైడ్ స్పేస్ అవుట్ సైడ్ స్పేస్ ఖ మీన్స్ ఖయోరివ ఖ మీన్స్ ఆకాశ ఖయో ఘట ఇతర ఆర్ మహాకాశ ఘట లే అదర్వైజ్ యూ కెన్ కాల్ మఠాకాశ హాల్ స్పేస్ ఘటాకాశ మఠాకాశయో ఇవ లైక్ దట్ వ్యావృత్తే స్యాద్ అవాక్యార్థ వ్యావృత్తే స్యాద్ వ్యావృత్తి మీన్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు నెగేట్ ద లిమిటేషన్స్ దట్ సైడ్ అండ్ దిస్ సైడ్ దట్ సైడ్ దిస్ సైడ్ మీన్స్ వాట్ సైడ్ ఘటాకాశ సైడ్ అండ్ మహాకాశ మఠాకాశ సైడ్ మహాకాశ మఠాకాశ మీద బిగ్గర్ అధిక వ్యాపి మఠాకాశ అల్పవ్యాపి ఘటాకాశ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డిలీట్ దట్ డిఫరెన్షియేటింగ్ అట్రిబ్యూట్స్ లిమిటింగ్ అట్రిబ్యూట్స్ సో ఘటాకాశ మహాకాశ యూ హ్యావ్ టు క్యాన్సిల్ అల్పవ్యాపి ఘటాకాశ మఠాకాశ ఈజ్ అధిక వ్యాపి బహు మోర్ స్పేస్ ఇట్ పర్వేడ్స్ దెర్ ఈస్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ స్పేస్ ఇన్ మఠాకాశ లెస్ స్పేస్ ఇన్ ఘటాకాశ సో దట్ ఘటాకాశ అండ్ మఠాకాశ అట్రిబ్యూట్స్ లిమిటింగ్ ఎడ్జంట్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు క్యాన్సిల్ ఈచ్ అదర్ దెన్ వాట్ రిమెయిన్ ఆకాశ రిమెయిన్ దట్ కాంట్రడిక్టింగ్ attributes limiting attributes each other to be uh, removed vyavrittehe means that uh, differentiating differentiating uh, akasha limiting adjuncts of akasha you have to give up in the second line he gives um, darshtanta um మహాఘటాకాశ హెస్ గాట్ అల్ప అల్పత్వం గుణ మహాకాశ హెస్ గాట్ మహత్వగుణ సో యాజ్ లాంగ్ యాజ్ మహత్వగుణ అల్పత్వగుణ ఈజ్ దేర్ యూ కెనాట్ సే ఆకాశ ఈజ్ వన్ అల్పత్వగుణ యూ హ్యావ్ టు క్యాన్సిల్ మహత్వగుణ ఆఫ్ మఠాకాశ యూ హ్యావ్ టు క్యాన్సిల్ ఇఫ్ యూ రీటైన్ దట్ అల్పత్వం అండ్ మహత్వం వన్ ఆకాశ యూ కెనాట్ అరైవ్ ఇట్ దేర్ ఫోర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు బోత్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు గివ్ అప్ దిస్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ నాలెడ్జ్ దట్ నాలెడ్జ్ అలోన్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ అపరోక్ష జ్ఞానం అపరోక్ష జ్ఞానం ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ సాక్షాత్కార ఆర్ రియలైజేషన్ సో యూ హ్యావ్ గాట్ that correct right knowledge not uh, um, paroksha gnanam but aparoksha gnanam so ghata 
um, and matha both are to be given up matha and ghata itara ghate tare khe ghate ghatascha itarancha ghate tare khe ghate tare khe samanaadhikaranyaadhi he this samanaadhikaranyam we have to remember that shloka what we have already seen third verse vyavrutte he visheshya vyavrutte he by removing those lim adjectives since the attributes are contradictory vyavrutte he you have to remove those attributes after removing what will happen that means sajati vijati asvagata bheda rahitaha syad eva definitely it is possible what is definitely possible once you remove those attributes this aikyam one akasha you remain similarly here also um, you can arrive at one atma one atma in tattvamasi also you have to explain the same way what is that same way you know all these things but again and again you listen you will get clarity in tat paramatma there is sarvagnatvam sarva vyapitvam in jeevatma tvampada jeevatma you the individual has got alpagnatvam and alpa vyapitvam tat paramatma is uh, omniscient omnipotent as long as omniscient omnipotent attribute with paramatma and alpiscient uh, uh, who is not omniscient who is uh, not omnipotent jiva is uh, limited pervading only limited space is pervading not all pervading only all pervading <laughs> pervading only in the body not only that having very very limited knowledge alpagnatvam and we forget everything after few hours that is alpagnana that is why both cannot be identical both are controversial so sarvagnatvam alpagnatvam both are controversial they cannot be one jeevatma alpagnah paramatma sarvagnah how they can be uh, identical impossible therefore remove the attributes jeevatma jeevatvam paramatma parama that supreme attribute remove who remains atma aikya bodhaka vakyam therefore you have to do bhagatyaga lakshana you have to arrive at lakshyartha vachyartha of jeevatma is ahankara vachyartha of ishvara is maya sahitam brahma with attributes higher attributes jeeva is with lower attributes therefore aikyam cannot come when you remove those attributes atma remains aikya bodhaka vakyam tattvamasi in tattvada and tvampada you have to do tyaga of those attributes this is called equation equation initially tattvam they are introduced with attributes initially jeevatma and paramatma but uh, afterwards you slowly remove those attributes then atma remains these are all to be done intellectually then you understand like even kaino upanishad students naham manye suvedeti nona vedeti vedacha like that student you also come to understand so that equations are evidently the same but it appears as though different evidently uh, if that equation is uh, uh, evidently same it cannot be called as equation if 
So equation is um, evidently different also. That also cannot be called as uh, equation. How tatu tvam asi is an equation. Tatu tvam asi is an equation that um, difference is not evident and similarity is also not evident. Both are not evident. That is why it is called equation. Mahavakya is an equational sentence. Equation is necessary when this similarity is not evident and difference is not evident. At that time, you require an equation. Like in mathematics, they say 5 plus 3 is equal to 9 minus 1. 5 plus 3 is equal to 9 minus 1. How much? Uh, the equation 5 plus 3, you keep one side, is equal to, is equal to 9 minus 1. 9 minus 1 means is equal to what? 8 number comes. But in 5 plus 3, there is no 8. In 9 minus 1 also, there is no 8. I can say only 5 plus 3 is equal to 9 minus 1. I won't say 8. I am not telling 8. What I say only 5 plus 3 is equal to 9 minus 1. How nice it is equation. You understand? 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. But 8 number without giving the 8 number. The similarity of 5 plus 3 is equal to 9 minus 1, similarity is not evident. The difference of 5 plus 3 and e is equal to 9 minus 1 difference is not evident. But inside there is a, a similarity, answer is there. What is in not evident? Invisible, not evident, uh, evident. Uh, answer is hidden there. What is that? 8 number. 8 is not there, but understood. It won't appear. But I said 5 plus 3 is equal to 9 minus 1. You have to do mentally that work. 8 is not appearing in the equation. This is called equation. What is equation? Its similarity is not evident. If similarity is evident, there is no equation. If similarly in chemistry also, uh, all these uh, uh, H2O, they say oxygen and hydrogen is equal to water. Water they don't say. Oxygen and hydrogen. That equation, H2O, like that so many equations are there. Like in mathematics, what I said, 5 plus 3 is equal to 9 minus 1. Nothing is there, 8 is not there, understood. Adi madri, same way, tatu tvam asi also, similarity is not evident, difference is also not evident. You have to do oh, lakshyartha, you have to arrive at, vachyartha, you have to take out through bhagat yaga lakshana. Then you can say Tatu Paramatma Ahamasmi. I am Aha. I am Tatu Brahman who is free from all attributes. That is why Brahma Lakshanam is very important. Swarupa Lakshanam of Brahman Satyam Jnana Manantam Brahma. I am also. I am. I am Atma Brahma. I am also. <laughs> Brahman only. I am also Sat. I am also Chit. Brahman is Anantam. I am also Anantam. Vacharcha Dhrushtiya, I can never be Anantam as a Hankara Drishti. So what you have to do? Lakshartha Drishtiya, original consciousness standpoint, I have to take myself as O.C. Paramatma also, uh, from original consciousness standpoint, he has to take. So what is that answer? Deha buddhyatu dasoham jiva buddhyat vadam shakaha Atma buddhyatu that is lakshartha. Deha buddhyatu dasoham is vachartha. Hanuman. 
जीवबुद्ध्यादंशकः एगेन वाच्यार्थ हनुमान सेड थर्ड लाइन आत्मबुद्ध्या देह रिमूड जीवत्व रिमूड देन व्हाट रिमेन्स आत्मबुद्ध्या राम आत्मा राम आनंद रमण सो दैट भजन इज वेरी नाइस आत्मा राम लक्ष्यार्थ राम आनंद रमण मीन्स आनंदो ब्रह्म हनुमान आलसो रिमूव दैट लिमिटेशन वानरत्व दैट अट्रिब्यूट शरीर मन एव्रीथिंग अट्रिब्यूट हनुमान हिमसेल्फ सैड मेनी पीपल देर आर् हनुमान भक्ता दि श्लोका नो बड़ी नोस् आत्मबुद्ध्या यू दि राम आत्मा ऐ एम मई सेलफ आत्मा तमेव अहम देन लास्ट सेंटेन्स वाट ही सैड हनुमान इति मे निश्चिता मत ही दिस इज मई कन्विशन दिस इज मई कन्विशन वन श्लोक इज सफिशियंट टू अंडरस्टैंड द ट्रूथ बट वी ग्लास ओवर वाट एवर श्लोक गुरु से we don't think much see the this agnanam comes only to those people who think for thinkers uh, just go on like mechanically listening won't work you have to contemplate not that uh, um, vachaspati mishra's contemplation he said samadhi avastha one has to go into that state we are not thinking talking about that samadhi we are talking about um, um, nididhyasanam contemplation means uh, reveling or uh, we can say alert living alert living means living in the teaching of the teacher whatever teacher has given pashyan shrinvan sprishan jigran very very important shloka this is so um जस्ट एज इन आकाश घट आकाश मठ आकाश घट मठ यू रिमूव विच आर् द काज फॉर अल्प व्यापित्व सर्व्यापित्व दट यू रिमूव आकाश इज ए पॉजिटिव एंटिटी दट आलो विस आलि सो दट आकाश इन द पॉट आकाश इन द मठ हाल बोथ आर् वन एंड द सेम सिमिलरली similarly what uh, um, pure existence pure existence consciousness you have to know yourself as existence consciousness principle everyone knows uh, i am so and so with body mind complex we lose sight of because this body is very close proximate to me the sakshi chaitanya who goes inwards towards atma in inner journey and the inner journey not sitting in meditation and asking who am i who am i only by listening from the teacher about mahavakya and analyzing is that and claiming that i am brahman i am mano buddhi hankara chitta ninaham na cha shrotra jimhi na cha ghrana netre boldly confidently with conviction the person has to claim that i am brahman i cannot be other than brahman i cannot be the body i cannot be the mind i cannot be the buddhi like that conviction comes then you are a jeevan mukta so very simple only to say so this anvaya to be done like this ghatetar hayo ho iva so a little stuff anvaya ghatetar khayo ho iva ghata akasha ghata kha kha means akasha itara means uh, other than ghata akasha mahakasha is there maha is big space na no? that big and small khayo uh, ho iva सामनाधिकरण्यादेहेमर्थो सिमिलर्ली सामनाधिकरण्यम इज देर 
both of them are one and the same tattvam arthayoh tatvam asi their meaning their meaning vyakti matra gnanam as we say in swayam devadatta here who is vyakti here atma atma vastu we have to claim tattvam arthayoh anvay i am telling tattvam arthayoh viruddham shah विरुद्धांश व्यावृत्ते विरुद्धांश यू हाव टू सप्लै व्यावृत्ते इज देर इन द मूल व्यावृत्ते मीन बै द रिमूवल ऑफ दोज लिमिटिंग एडजेंट्स हेतु विद बै दिस् नवाक्या नस्माक नीन अस्माक अस्माक पक्षे अवाक्या मीन नॉन्सेंटेनशियल नॉन्सेंटेनशियल सो हि सेड महावाक्य कैनाट गिव इट इज गिव संसर्गात्मक ज्ञान सो अवाख्या साक्षात सैनसेंटेनशियल सो नॉन्सेंटेनशियल अवाक्या मीन असंसर्गात्मक अवाक्या मीन संसर्गरहित निर्गुण ब्रह्म सगुण गुणरहित ब्रह्म निर्विशेष ब्रह्म दट ईज शाब्द दिस शाब्द मीन महावाक्य इज द शब्द थ्रू दिस शब्द वि अरव एट अहम ब्रह्मास्मी ज्ञान लुक इन टू द श्लोक वन सगेन सिया अवाक्या साक्षात नत्वर्थयो तत्वर्थ मीन तत्थ तत्वर्थ वर्ड्स आर् यूज डिफ्रेंटली इतर मीन महाकाश द फस्ट लाइन इतर वर्ड ईज यूज फॉर् महाकाश दत्वर्थ मीन तत्वसी महावाक्य यु आर् दट अर्थ मीन वाट द एसेंशियल मीनिंग तत् परमात्मा तम जीवात्मा एसेंशियल मीनिंग आर लक्षार्थ इज व्हाट आत्मा वै वाच्यार्थ टू बी गिवन अप वाच्यार्थ इज मैटर वाच्यार्थ अहंकार ईश्वर सर्वज्ञत्व ऑल आर व्यावहारिक आत्मा इज पारमार्थिक दट इज वै so very very important shloka since the attributes are contradictory vyavrutte he avakyarthah syat means aparoksha gnanam can come through this sakshad avakyarthah syat sakshad means aparoksha gnanam when not in nididhyasanam shravana kale eva the guru teaches properly and the student listen properly then the knowledge take place otherwise not wise <laughs> otherwise next 10th shloka introduction kutaha avakyartho vasiyata iti chet tat pratipadya tat pratipattaye विशेषण विशेष्य सामर्थ्योक्ति आफ्टर दिस् पूर्वपक्षी कोर्स कीप्स द मैंड प्रज्ञा कुर्वीत श्रवण अनतर बृहदारण्यकोपनिषत् इट इस सैड प्रज्ञा कुरवीत देर फोर दट ईज निधिध्यासन पूर्वपक्ष आलो कॉर्स उपनिषदिक मंत्र ओनली सो दे इंटरप्रेट डिफरेंटली हियर कुतहा हाउ इज दिस पॉसिबल नॉन वेरबल इंपोर्ट अंडरस्टूड दट ईज क्वेश्चन मार्क कुतहा इज ए क्वेश्चन मार्क अवाक्याथ अवसीयते हव ईज दिस् 
Avakyartha means non-verbal. Non-verbal means non-sentential. Uh, avasiyate can be understood. How is it possible? If you ask, chet. If you ask for that, chet. Tat pratipatyartham. Pratipatti means jnana. Pratipatyartham means for that understanding or for that knowledge to understand that suppose you ask how to uh, it is to be understood that is atparyam how if you ask like to answer that tat pratipatyartham to answer this what we will do viseshana viseshayoho samarthya samarthyaha Samarthyaha, that means cap efficacy of subject and object relation is explained. Viseshana means uh, um, attributes, Viseshya means noun, Viseshana you can take object also. Viseshya Visheshana, that is one of the Samandha Visa in uh, previous. Samarthyoktihi. This samarthyoktihi also not clear. Uh, it is called samarthya uktihi. It can be said, it can be taught. Uh, it has got an efficacy through visesha visheshana. That is uh, um, comes in the next uh, tenth verse. What are those visheshana? Uh, visesha means noun. Visheshana means attribute. Uh, that noun which has got an attributes like uh, jivatma jivatmatvam is the attribute of paramatma paramatmatvam also attribute of jivatma like that we can take i said in third verse kuncham complicated irkum tattvam asim when we say you are that in um, uh, that jivatvam and paramat Paramatma, both are uh, mutually transferring their limitations. Uh, Jeevatvam Visheshanam to Paramatma Visheshyam. Paramatma Visheshanam, if you take Jeevatvam, become Visheshyam. That way, little bit, uh, um, uh, little bit tricky, this uh, type of application that we will see in the Next class, today we will conclude this with this introduction. Samarcha means <coughs> for efficacy or capability of uh, revealing their nature. This Viseshana Viseshya, through that also how you arrive at uh, revealing the Advayam Brahma. How is it possible? Na? That is the technique of uh, Advaita Vedanta. How beautifully they apply. Like our Bhagat Yaga Lakshana, Lakshya Lakshana Sambandha. So these are all to be remembered again and again. You repeatedly listen, you understand. One time listening is not sufficient, especially these techniques. Therefore, Sureshwara Acharya is going to explain that um, Samanadhi Karanyam, Viseshya Visheshana Sambandha and Lakshya Lakshana Sambandha. The more you understand this clearly, very easy to claim that I am Brahman. It's not difficult. So, repeated listening. Because one of the Tatparya Linga is Abhyasa. Abhyasa means repetition. Repeated listening. We feel that uh, I heard this subject, I know, but application wise, second, third, fourth time you listen, that assimilation takes place. That we will see in the next class. Om Pur Namada Pur Namidam Pur Nat Pur Namudachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nameva Vasishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi
Om.